Are we ready? Yeah. Hello. I would like to introduce Dr. Ming Wang. He is from China originally. He has studied medicine here in the United States and was practicing medicine Western style for over 30 years. However, he is very interested in helping to have people understand traditional Chinese medicine. And so he is here today to try to help us to understand concepts, different concepts that we never understood before about Chinese traditional medicine. And uh, Dr. Ming Wang, after many years of practice, will now explain what he can so we can understand the difference of these two theories. Okay, thank, thank you. you to Julia, thank you Werner. Yeah, this uh, have a really good opportunity to come over here to discuss in a little bit about traditional Chinese medicine. As you mentioned that I get my medical education in the medical school in China, and, and I also have my training in the United States in UMass Medical Center and become a family, uh, family doctor, practice almost 30 years. Right now, I think it's the time. Uh, during the time, I try to practice conventional medicine, additional uh, to combine the uh, traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture uh, requests by the patient. And I feel that uh, at the same time, I do some uh, the theoretical study and uh, research work on the uh, traditional Chinese medicine and the uh, theory of the yin and yang. Uh, in the past two years, I, uh, I think it's the time for me to do more concentration on the traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture and also try to do some education uh, that, uh, on the traditional Chinese medicine on the theory of the yin and yang so that I write some books and also try to to discuss my idea about the yin and yang theory about the traditional Chinese medicine. Try to share my experience my, and my uh, study in that field with my the, the medical uh, uh, that, uh, professional in the United States on, and the Western world and also share my experience with the uh, people in this country. Yes. Um. I've been a patient of yours for over 20 years. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And you have healed me many times. Uh, um, I would wonder if you could explain, I think the most important difference with Western and Eastern is mm. the diagnosis mm. and how you approach it. Could you explain how you approach that with traditional Chinese medicine? That is the very interesting question. That is the key that the between uh, conventional medicine and traditional Chinese medicine. I would like to share my study with the you that uh, explain that uh, uh, the kind of different, the key different. Here I have two books try to explain them. One is uh, in Chinese, that is uh, traditional Chinese medicine and metaphysics. I uh, published uh, this book in China, in Shanghai, that the ma major publisher company named uh, Shanghai People's Publisher Company. That uh, uh, they pretty good in uh, the many people feel interesting about that book, about the idea. Yeah, that the one. And then I translate that Chinese into English. That is the book, Tradition Chinese Medicine and Metaphysics. It was published in uh, 2010 in United States. And right now, many people that uh, start to know my book and try to understand what uh, uh, my book, the talk discussion. Mm -hmm. Here, I would like to do a little bit that kind of brief introduction about the book. Uh, of course, that's a pretty complicated book. That's about 700 pages, and many people have it that get into that book and feel that it's too complicated, unable to understand the whole idea. But I would like to uh, do a little bit the kind of brief explanation for that and have uh, the kind of really key point 
for my concept. Winner, I would like to present that and that, uh, see the whole situation. And the body system, as we know, is very complicated system. It's a little bit different from the outside system. For instance, from the stone, from the, that, uh, uh, anything that kind of non-life system. For the life system, actually, consists two parts. One is the structural morphology that part. That is the uh, percent, percent as the body structure. But only that part is not the life system. It's the death system. It's not the life system. Behind that part, they have the free energy ocean. That is driving force. System is different from the non-life system. Have a structural morphology. Additional behind the structure have free energy as a driving force. For the science, for the conventional medicine, usually they study the structure, the morphology, include the whole system, its existence and its behavior. And the, the, the different kind of organ, their structure, and their behavior, their uh, the, uh, uh, the kind of action. And also the shell, the structure, and its behavior. And inside the small organ of the shell, the kind of existence and its behavior. And also that, that deep inside that is chemical, complex, the molecular, all of all of the kind of accidents and their behavior. That is so-called the general new, Newtonian mechanic system. Include the mechanic energy, include the chemical energy, but not include the thermodynamic energy. But the behind that, below that structure, that they have the driving force, that is free energy, that the uh, ocean, we can say is the kind of driving force as a free energy ocean. That includes that thermodynamic energy. That thermodynamic energy that's related with the system, the order and disorder, the liquid entropy, that kind of uh, the existence. So it's very complicated system. For the conventional medicine, did not have any that kind of resource and also no such ability to study that, that, that part of the existence and its uh, the, the, uh, uh, behavior. So this, this part of the existence and its behavior seem to be empty for the conventional medicine and for the science. But this part for, from the Chinese traditional medicine, from the theory of the yin and yang, they exactly focus on that part. They use yin and yang theory. And the yin and yang theory have the yin and yang empty and full and cold and hot and inside and outside and fine metaphysics organ and metaphysics blood, metaphysics tea, and melindia, all of the kind of things, try to describe, de describe the whole uh, existence of them and their behavior in that area. So the conclusion is the body system, the life system, consists of two parts. One is the physics being that part, that part is studied by science, by conventional medicine, by Western system. Another part, below that, that the driving force, the driving force, that is the free energy, that part seem to be for the conventional medicine, for the Western medicine, for the science. Until now, they did not have the lead they did not have the resource and ability to study that. That part is related with the 
order and disorder. That part is related with the negative entropy. That part is related with so-called branch coupling. That part is related with the life. That is fundamentally for the life. That part, until you now, conventional medicine, Western medicine, science did not have the accessory to study that. But for traditional Chinese medicine, they exactly try to weigh all that existence and their behavior over there. Use yin and yang to, li to, to lay out the existence and their behavior over there. So that is the whole thing. So we, the conclusion is that the body system, conventional medicine, study the structure. Behind that, the free energy ocean, study by traditional Chinese medicine. That is clear, Julia? Well, um, <clears throat> I understand what you're saying.